Thank you for joining us for the KHSD Weekly Wrap-Up. I'm Erin Briscoe-Clark. The great Kern County Fair is well underway. And for our FFA students, the fair isn't all fun and games. It's a whole lot of hard work. Before the fair opens its gates, the Midway looks more like a ghost town. But in the livestock area, it's quite a different scene. And it's a lot of picking up poop and a lot of filling in the holes they dig because they love their mud and a lot of feeding. Feeding is a big part of it. FFA students arrive at sunrise with their boots in tow and get straight to work. Like clean as can, walk him. I have to do vet check and weigh him today. Students say preparing for the fair takes a lot of commitment and dedication, but the skills they'll walk away with will pay off in the end. It definitely teaches us how to be independent. Maybe like teaches us how to like work as a team, stuff like that. You learn how to talk to people, how to manage your money, manage your time, how to get jobs, how to do job interviews, different competitions, and the proper ways to speak to people, and different stuff that's going to help you all throughout whatever career path you choose. After all of the livestock duties are finished, it doesn't mean their work is done. Students still need to focus on their studies. We don't want to fail a class, because especially if I fail a class, I won't be able to graduate this year. The IT department set up technology carts on the fairgrounds where students can check out a Chromebook and hotspot so they can stay on top of their schoolwork while away from campus. Although it's a rigorous schedule, students say being part of FFA is a once in a lifetime experience. I have a really great bond with some of the some of the kids here and you know, it's just it's just amazing to see how far we've come since being strangers to now we're just like hanging out every day, having fun and doing the stuff we love. <laughs> Hardworking students need fuel at the fair. KHSD Nutrition Services rolled out its food vans to provide our students with daily meals. They set up at the fair a few years ago after seeing the need to feed students who spend hours there and in many cases didn't have access to food. This year, they serve over 100 students daily. And our FFA students are walking away from the fair as champions. Here's a look at some of the photos taken by various FFA chapters. We will have a complete fair wrap up with the winners next week. Teachers throughout the county were showered with love on Wednesday. We just love supporting our teachers. I mean, I have a lot of family members who are teachers, and I mean, they just do so much for us, so it's a lot of fun to support them. Kern Leadership Alliance and CityServe hosted the Love Our Teachers Celebration drive through event at Bakersfield High School. Driller and Viking cheerleaders brought the school spirit and held signs with messages for teachers as they were treated to a dinner for two to go and a goodie bag. Those in attendance say it's the least they can do for our teachers who've had to navigate the most challenging time educators have ever seen. Just like our frontline workers in healthcare and law enforcement across every sector, our teachers were pivotal uh, during the pandemic and now to provide uh, instruction and education to our students in the most demanding of times and an environment that radically changed overnight. And uh, we just wanted to step aside and, and say thank you. For teachers, this gesture means a lot. Today's event was definitely something that brightened my, my week, my year, because um, a lot of the times teachers kind of get overlooked and we're not always smiled at as being the good person in things. And this year has been very tough. So to have some people looking out for us and thinking about us, it just, it felt really good. Hispanic Heritage Month celebrations continue across the district. East Bakersfield High students shared with us what their heritage means with them and how they celebrate with their families. The way my family celebrates 
Hispanic Currency Month is by making traditional Mexican foods like dishes like tamales, mole, chilaquiles, pozole, burritos, y más. My name is Jasmine Salazar and I will celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month by playing Loteria with my family and eating some Hispanic dishes like tamales and pozole. For me, Hispanic Heritage Month means a celebration of Hispanics and all things related to Hispanic heritage. It can be celebrated in several ways. One example would be listening to music and getting together with family. Another example would be learning more about Hispanics or teaching others what Hispanic Heritage Month means. But in the end, everyone has different ways of celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. Hola, soy Andrea Samano. <laughs> Hi, my name is Andrea Samano, and some of the ways in which I celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month during COVID is by listening to Mexican music, watching a TV show in Spanish or a telenovela, reading a book by a Hispanic author. A fun fact about me is that during elementary school, I was in Mexican folk for three years. And I only have two photos of when I was in Mexican folk, which were taken when I was in sixth grade. So here's one of me and my group. This was in sixth grade. And then I also have this one where I'm in my Mexican folk outfit. A Hispanic Heritage Month celebrates the history and countless contributions that Latinos have made to the nation over the years. It's important because it's the anniversary of independence for Latin American countries such as Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and many more. One way we could celebrate is by eating um, some of our favorite dishes like tamales, tacos, tortas, pozole, or like from El Salvador, pupusas. Those are some of my favorite dishes to eat with family on special occasions and every day. This week, we're shining the spotlight on Independence High School sophomore Vivian Campos. Vivian's enrolled in an early college pathway at SeaTech. She was selected to represent KHSD and serve on a student panel with five other peers from around the state during the California Coalition of Early and Middle Colleges Conference. She discussed her experience with early college and answered questions such as how she balances high school and college classes with her personal life. Great job, Vivian, and way to represent Kern County. That's going to do it for this KHSD Weekly Wrap-Up. To stay up to date with the latest news and information from across the district, follow us on Twitter at KHSD underscore official and online at kernhigh.org. See you next time.